Today I'm going to show you guys how to create trending print-on-demand t-shirt designs for free using Merch Dominator and Photopea. If you're using Merch Dominator for your niche research, keyword research, listing creation and trademark checking, then you'll definitely find creating designs from within Merch Dominator very handy because you won't have to leave the platform and you can be very efficient with your time. This is going to be perfect for beginners who don't know how to design or who find Illustrator or Photoshop very hard to use. Also a great alternative for Canva because it's 100% free and you don't need to pay to use it. Now I'm going to jump on my computer and I'll show you the entire process. So make sure you watch with me the entire video so you don't miss any important or crucial step. Now before we start, let's hear from today's sponsor which is myself. And if you guys need a Merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase. I'll also leave you below a crash course for Merch by Amazon along with 200 plus profitable print on demand niches, a link to check out my full ultimate Merch by Amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush Merch by Amazon. And if you guys don't have time to do niche research, I'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service. So to get access to Merch Dominator, just go to Google, type Merch Dominator, click on this link right Right here and then go ahead and register for free at the moment it's completely free but we are launching our pricing plans in 12 days time and we're going to have exclusive new early bird pricing plans with massive discounts for a limited time only so make sure you sign up now to save big right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to try and find some inspiration scroll down through the best sellers so i think i'm going to work on this one right here i'll show you how to make it it's pretty simple and anyone can do it guys so what you want to do is you want to go to tools and you want to open a designer i'm just gonna right click so i can open a new tab and this is what the photopea designer looks like sometimes you'll get ads directly from photopea what you need to do is you need to refresh just click and refresh and it will disappear if it doesn't disappear from the first time do it the second time and the third time until it disappears right so what you want to do is you want to click on file you want to click on new and you want to define your artboard size for merch by amazon or for print on demand in general it's going to be 4500 by 5400 so 4500 in width and 5400 like so leave this as is i'm going to choose a transparent background and i'm going to click on create and there's our artboard i've got the design that i'm going to get inspiration from it's me comma high dot i'm going to write it down i'm going to go click on text change the size maybe 400 something like that and click on text it's me there we go to make it bigger pretty simple just click on it and then click on transform to tools and drag it this way and this way as well and click on confirm there's our first bit now if you'd like to change the distance between each character very simple guys so let's say we want to create a gap here i'm going to select t and i'm going to click on the character button this one right here and i'm going to decrease the tracking from here like so just keep modifying it until it looks good to you yeah, that looks better can you see the distance between here and here is the same now the rest looks fine to me by the way guys the font that i'm using is called keep on tracking and i've literally loaded it onto photopea right from merch dominator choose your font file and it will be loaded here now i'm going to click on here click on enter and then type our next text it's going to be i'm the now the issue is we have this space. I'm going to make this bit here bigger so that it fills the entire space. I'll select it just like that. And then I'm going to increase the size. So we'll do 1000, maybe a bit more, 1100. That looks all right. Lead in. So we'll do 800. Yeah, that's too much. We overshot it there. 900, 950. That looks all right. Perfect. Okay, next. Click again on enter. Okay, we need to make it smaller now. So size will do 900. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe... 890 perfect now we need to make the lead in a bit smaller so maybe 800 that looks good to me again next line it's me again this bit right here i need to change it or adjust it using the tracking of course just like that adjust it until you're happy that looks fine to me so now we need to increase the size Let's do 1100 1200 that's too much 1150 is fine now we need to change the lead in maybe 1000 yeah that's about right perfect take it up a little bit i'm gonna change the colors let's pick this color right here guys again i'm not gonna use different colors i just want to show you how you can do this design with these colors but you can pick your colors however you like again i'm not gonna upload this this is just for demo purposes guys just so you know how these designs are made using merch dominator and photopea i'm going to select this eyedropper extension click on pick 
color from web click on the color and then copy the color i'm going to come back to photo appear i'm going to select this bit right here and i'm going to go to fill i'm going to paste that color code there it is now onto the next one click on eyedropper pick color from web page click on it select the color copy the color code come over here select your portion that you want to recolor and then click on fill paste the code over here click on ok and we do the same thing for the rest perfect there we have it now we need to make it wavy very simple double click select the whole thing click on warp and we're going to choose just like that we need to make it smaller we we'll do maybe 15 percent or 20 percent depending on your taste 15 percent is about right okay there you have it now let's add a new fill layer click on layer new fill layer color fill make it black perfect so this is what it looks like with a black background just gonna lock it now i'll probably add some stars you can either make them here if you'd like either with the path tool or using the star tool etc or we can simply download them from creative fabrica you've got so many elements in here it makes it much easier for you to work and it's literally 4.99 a month if you get the yearly all access i've got a link for you down below in the description so make sure you check it out because it is literally the best resource for your fonts graphic design elements etc i use it all the time myself so yeah check out the discount link in the description so i downloaded that bundle and this is what we got got everything that we need gonna use this one i can change the color if i want I'll just click on effects color overlay you can maybe make it white just like that click on transform controls make it smaller maybe put one here let's add another one here maybe let's see if we can add any other element let's try this one it looks all right maybe we'll add another star here make it smaller let's add this one and maybe this one here maybe another star here as well and there you have it there's our design right from inside Merge Dominator. And to download it, we just need to remove the background. Just hide this layer. There it is. And then we click on File. Click on Export As png and then choose what name you want to give it I'll just put it's me then click on save and there's our design guys and if you want to save this project you just click on file click on save as psd and there's the psd saved guys we can reopen it either here on merge dominator with photopia or we can open it on photoshop there's plenty of flexibility there now if you guys want to know the entire process of how to work with merch by amazon and how to start a print on demand business I'm going to leave you this video right here. You're going to find it very useful. Like, subscribe and all of that. And I'll see you in the next one.